Bet you're gonna miss me. You keep your fist still, please. You're gonna be the next Dolly Parton! A young Scottish woman, played by Jessie Buckley, is finally released from prison and decides to live out her dreams as a country singer in Wild Rose. I'm Chris Zweig. Let's take a look. I saw this movie in London last April with my mother and cousins, and we all agreed that it's charming on its own levels while the Scottish dialogue is often too difficult to understand. We can still grasp the concept based on the situations and expressions, as in this scene when the girl's mother, played by Julie Walters, believes her music dream is a fantasy, especially since she couldn't take care of her own two kids while she was incarcerated. I can't help you. I haven't booked the time off. You've been out 20 years. Special circumstances. I've used that enough. Right, when I was fucking up. That's for you, no go by in. This is me trying to make something of myself, and surely to God, that's a good thing for them. A good thing for them. No letting them down again and again and again. That would be a good thing for them. To make ends meet, she ends up working for a wealthy woman played by Sophie Okendo, who eventually discovers her talents. She knows nothing about her criminal record and kids, but the girl, named Rosalind for the record, tells her why she loves country music. Why country? Because it's three chords in the truth. Wow. Yeah, it goes like that. It just gets whatever's in there out. Wild Rose doesn't follow the Hollywood cliches by just giving the main heroine her dream. It focuses on the difficulties and support given to her. Watching Jessie Buckley on screen is like seeing a revelation. She keeps herself in check by sticking to the script and using her voice to cover hits from such talents as Chris Stapleton and Winona Judd. And credit must also go to Okendo and Walters for their supporting work. Lately, I've been given two other fine indies about rock stars and their situations. Her Smell of Elizabeth Moss was about a messed up 90s rock star. And Teen Spirit with Al Fanning is about a young dreamer competing in a singing competition. And now I've dished on Wild Rose. All these movies are not just about lyrics, but about characters and stories, and that's what this movie has. Again, I can't call it a masterpiece because of the thoroughly confusing dialogue. I'm sorry if I'm being offensive to anyone, but I can call it honest and charming. Check it out. Well, that's my review of Wild Rose. It opens this Friday in New York and Los Angeles, and it should expand to more theaters within the next few weeks, depending on how moviegoers take it. If you like this review and other reviews coming up, please subscribe to my channels, and my written reviews are at www.cgatthemovies.com. I'm Chris Zweig, and I'll see you at the movies.